Today's lesson is about fraction. A fraction represents a part of a whole or any number of equal parts. When spoken in everyday English, a fraction describes how many parts of a certain size there are. For example, one half. One quarter. Or two quarters. Three quarters. And so on. These are the parts of a fraction. This is the numerator. It is the number of parts you have. This is the denominator. It is the number of parts the whole is broken into. This is the fraction bar. It separates the numerator and denominator. It represents division. In this topic, we will focus on how naming a half as one of two equal parts of an object. In short, we will discuss one half of a shape or a quantity. Splitting a whole thing into two equal parts gives a half. Let's start by finding one half of a shape. We divide this circle into halves by drawing a line in the middle like this. To show one half of the circle, we color it. Which of these shapes has been cut exactly in half? If you picked shape A, you got it right! Let's go ahead and color one half. What about this? Correct! Shape B. Now, we'll color one half. Which shape has been cut exactly in half? Shape A is the correct answer. Let's color one half. Now, let's find half of a set of objects. First step is to count how many apples are there in all. One, two, three, four. There are four apples. We then go ahead and write four in the first box below. Now, to find half of 4, we need to put or share the apples equally between two baskets. Like this. 1, 2, 3, 4. To work out half of the number of apples on the tree, we count how many apples are there in each basket. One, two. There are two apples in each basket. We go ahead and write two in the box. 
That means half of four is two. Now let's find half of a number. What number is on the island? Right, it's eight. I'm gonna go ahead and write eight in the box. That will be the number that we will share on each boat. We'll draw circles on each boat until we reach eight. So that the number eight will be shared equally between the two boats. Like this, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's time to count the circles we drew on each boat. One, two, three, four. There are four circles on each boat. I'm gonna go ahead and write four in the box. Now, we found out that half of eight is four. Let's try this example. To complete this sentence, first, I'm gonna go ahead and count all the ladybugs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16. There are 16 ladybugs in all. So I'm writing 16 here. Now we need to find out what is one half of 16. Let's group the ladybugs into two. Like this. Then we count how many groups do we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There are eight groups. I'm gonna write 8 in the next box. Therefore, one half of 16 is 8. Up next is to combine halves to make a whole. Always remember that halves make one whole. Going back to our example, let's combine the halves to make one whole. First step is to count how many half pieces of cookies do we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There are eight pieces. Then we write eight halves. Since halves mean two half pieces, we will group the cookies into two, like this.
Then we count how many groups do we have? One, two, three, four. There are four groups. So we write four whole cookies. Eight halves make four whole cookies. Let's review! A fraction represents a part of a whole or any number of equal parts. When spoken in everyday English, a fraction describes how many parts of a certain size there are. For example, one half. One quarter. These are the parts of a fraction. This is the numerator. It is the number of parts you have. This is the denominator. It is the number of parts the whole is broken into. This is the fraction bar. It separates the numerator and denominator. It represents division. Let's answer some more exercises for the sake of practice. You may pause the video if you need more time. Let's do this!
Good job! I hope you found these exercises useful. If you do, click like and subscribe to see new videos on our channel. Have an awesome day!